glad to see you keeping up. Oh, okay. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Soul Set. So, in the last episode, we did discover some new things about Cheer because she is actually connected with Fiathor and there is a reason why she attacked Marco and that accidentally killed me. So it essentially has to do with Fiathor and Mariko was right. She, she had a sense that maybe Fiathor was involved and he is. And I'm going off the sense that maybe he knows Marco, that's why he wanted to kill him. And he threatened Shira to kill Shira if she didn't do what he asked to do. So I'm assuming that Shira and Shira are sisters because they have the same hair color and the reason why Shira was so protective of her. So it makes sense, but obviously they don't remember everything right off the bat because um, they still lost their memories. But the thing is right now, I took a look at some of the walkthroughs for the game and unfortunately I cannot complete uh, Shira's route because in order to get her good ending, you have to find different clues and different clues come into each of the routes, which is why you have to get all of the different endings to complete the entire story. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Shira uh, possible sister of Sheer, and uh, I'm gonna get one of the clues from her so that I can continue with Sheer's route and hopefully get an answer from there. So, if you see me jumping from root to root within this series, I do apologize, but this is what I need to do because I didn't, I had no idea I had to do this from the beginning. But this is what I need to do in order to get all of the endings. That's the only way. So, I'm gonna take a look at uh, Shira's today. We're gonna skip over the stuff we saw already, and hopefully, we can get an answer from her. So, this is the infamous painting. Not much of a masterpiece, that's for sure. Uh, I don't think anyone cares about the quality of it. What, you could do a better job? I think we gotta- <laughs> we gotta be bitchy to her too. Cause that's- it seems like if you were nice with Shira from the other experiences that we had, she turns bitchy all of a sudden, so I wonder if you become bitchy back, you know what I mean? What, you think you can do a better job? Hey, I might surprise you. Oh, okay, actually she did- she does become nice. But yeah, it's a description that causes all the confusion, right? Yes, both my name and family name are on it, and apparently it was painted at least 50 years ago. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I look like that much of an old woman yet. You know, technically someone could have faked this. I could also paint something and write Happy Family Year 1412 or whatever on it. I suppose. That's also one of the possibilities. Oh, I didn't think about that. She has a point. Someone could have just planted it to freak everybody out and make them not trust Mariko. That's probably what Fiathor could have done. If that is him. Either that or time travel is a thing. I mentioned that with the barrier. It's possible that the barrier has that effect when you start a new game because when you get a bad end it just starts from the beginning again. So I wonder. Yeah, that's probably the least likely option. It's still fun to wonder about though. All right, so we're gonna start Shira's route. I'm so sorry that everything is scrambled. I really wish we could just do each other the routes and not have to like skip over like everybody. Not just jump root to root because this is a little bit confusing, but this is the only way we can get all the full ending. So here we go, Shira. I'd like to pair up with Shira. Hmm. Is it the good looks or is it my personality? Can it be both? We may have the potential to get along. <laughs> Alright. Queen's next. Hello? Anybody? Queen? Marco? Huh? Don't hum me. Are you paying attention? Uh, I spaced out for a second there. Sorry. What? Why? He's the one who's been struggling this whole thing. Why is he spaced out? What were we doing again? What? Honestly, dude, keep up with your own mischief. Do you have the queen? Oh, yes, I have the queen. And Mariko paired up with... Miss Mariko chose Miss Shira, Mr. Marco. There are three misses in one sentence. Girl, you're making my brain hurt. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Just stop doing that. In that case, I'll go with Apris. Really? Of all people, the grumpy cat? Oh. Oh, I see, I see. Who would have thought? Whatever it is you're imagining, I'm pretty sure you're getting the wrong ideas. Are you sure about Apris? Yes, I'm sure. So that leaves Yvonne and I. It's a pleasure, Monsieur. I hope we can get along. Certainly, I'll try not to cause too much trouble. Why did Marco just forget all of a sudden? He's the one who's constructed all this like, hey, we should pick the cards. And then all of a sudden he's like, what are we doing? There's something going on there. Well, good luck to you guys. 
Yeah, good luck to you guys too. I wonder how this is gonna go. <laughs> is this the room we're taking? Why not? You and Marco sure seem to argue a lot. I'm provoking him for a reason. There's a, There has to be a weak spot somewhere. Uh, a weak spot? Do you think he's acting weird? I'm 90% sure he's hiding something. Yeah, consider- I think he's like freaked out because he knows he's on borrowed time considering Sheer is going to kill him. But... I feel like he knows something else too. Cause he mentioned a demon. I don't know what that means. She's really suspicious of him. But enough about Marco. Now that we're alone, I want to get an honest answer from you. There needs to be some kind of reason why you chose me. And we both know it's not really because of good looks. Or is it? Asking the difficult questions here, are we? I can't deny the good looks part. I mean, she's pretty. I like her I like her style. She has like the Lolita style. So I, I do like how the way she looks, but I had a feeling you could become a strong ally. You're right. I just found you the most suspicious. <laughs> We're gonna get- we're gonna get yelled if we say that. In all honesty, even though I know Shira's putting on a front so that people, you know, won't intimidate her, I do think she's pretty smart. Even though she does freak out a lot, I do think, um, Shira would be a strong ally. I had a feeling you could be a strong ally. You don't have a problem with addressing issues head- head on, and you don't let anyone boss you around. Besides that, you're openly suspicious of everyone. Those are good qualities to have. In other words, you find me re reliable. I suppose that's fair enough. I'm glad to see someone appreciate my efforts. Do you hope you don't expect me to do all the work myself, though? By no means. I didn't say that I would let my guard down. Good. I'd hate to have a submissive or lazy partner. If you want us to get along and work together, we need to be on the same page here. I'm expecting you to keep up with me. Right, right back at you, Shira. Th now that that's established, our second issue, the potions. What do you think about them? Seeing that Shira is suspicious of absolutely everything Marco does, you think they're poison poisoned, right? They might be a love potion, no. <laughs> you think that they're poisoned, I can see it. That they're poisoned. That's the most probable option, isn't it? Why would Marco want to poison any of us, though? You tell me! Why would anyone want to lock us up inside a stupid mansion in the first place? If it's all some kind of a social experiment, I'm sure as hell not playing along at it. That being said, I have no idea what you'd have in order to do- in order to convince me to drink them. What if those potions are really what Marco said they were, though? Well, the only way to find out is by drinking them. Would you really be willing to take that kind of risk, all things considered? There's a higher chance it might do us more harm than good. So count me out. That's right, when, when we weren't partners with uh, Sheer, uh, Marco said that he had to force um, Shira to drink them. All right then, we're not drinking the potions. What's the plan? I don't have one yet. But I suggest keeping a low profile for the time being. We could say that we did drink the potions, but remember nothing. If someone will be able to tell that we're bluffing, that means they themselves know more than they let on. Smart move. So basically, we wait to observe until someone else leaves the room. Then we'll know when is a good time to come out. Exactly. Glad to see you keeping up. Oh, okay. What the hell was that? You heard that, didn't you? It's, it wasn't just my imagination. No, I'm pretty sure someone or something just made a ruckus just now. I swear, if it turns out that this mansion is haunted, I'd like to see if she or Yvonne are okay. Would that be invading their privacy? I think our concern is justified. Yeah, considering they're up here with us, I think we should check on them. Let's stick to that. Cher, Yvonne, is everything okay with you two? That's it, I'm going in. Oh god. What's happening? Okay, false alarm. They're fine, just asleep. Huh? Did you see something you weren't supposed to? Why is she blushing? What? <laughs> Shut up! Either way, I'm a little freaked out right now. How about we go and check Marco and Aperos while we're already out of our room? Uh, sure, let's do that. What did she see? <laughs> what? They're not here. Huh, I kind of assumed that they wouldn't move anywhere else. Does that mean they went upstairs into one of the bedrooms as well? Where else would they have gone? The basement? The library? Though I have no idea why they want to crash in either. I suppose we could check just to make sure. Nope, nobody's here. The library seems to be empty as well. Wait, what is that? Oh, is this the letter? Is it me or do we just stumble upon something important? Crap, this is bad. How is it bad? Once we tell everyone we found this here, we're, we'll be officially the main suspects. Everyone will accuse us of writing it ourselves. 
Whoa, hold your horses. Just think about it. But wait. Whoever placed it here obviously wanted someone to find it at some point, right? If we were to hide it before everyone else got the chance to see it, it would technically throw a wrench in their plans. Are we seriously gonna hide it? But then, we'd be hiding something important from everyone. Not to mention that this sounds like it should be of help to us in regards of getting out of here. Marco, you're not seeing the bigger picture. Not everyone can be trusted. Do you want to work with everyone else, or do you want to work with me? I think you just contradicted yourself. What's more important to you, Shira? Playing a game of riddles or getting out of here? Both? Besides, you didn't want to trust me right off the bat. Well, I'm asking you to trust me now! We have a situation on our hands. This can't wait. You're going to hide the note regardless of what I say, aren't you? Not if you're going to call me out on it. That would just be stupid. Alright then, let's do it your way, hide the note. This will get us in trouble. We shouldn't hide it. Alright, I'm gonna try to follow her lead in this. Hopefully this won't end terribly, but oh my god. Alright then, let's do it your way and hide the note. Cheers to the lady on the right. We shouldn't keep the note to ourselves though, that would be risky. So what are we gonna do? Placing it between the pages of inside one of these books should do the trick. There! It's like nothing ever happened. Now we stick to the theory that we didn't notice anything being out of place when we got here. If the culprit isn't careful, they'll betray themselves. So you say... Let's wait till everyone wakes up. Oh, you're here. Hey, how did things go for you? I first is more stubborn than I thought. I was foolish to think that I'd be able to convince him to drink the potions with me. Is he not with you? He actually fell asleep. Huh, interesting. He fell asleep without drinking the potion? I guess he was tired. I figured it wouldn't hurt to leave him alone for a moment. Hmm. So, now we wait for Yvonne and Shira to wake up? Are they still upstairs? I think so. I can go check up on them. Maybe Apris woke up in the meantime as well. No suspicious reactions so far. I'm sorry if we kept you waiting. I believe that might have been my fault. Your fault? Yvonne was... Well, it turns out she's a heavy sleeper. I woke up a lot earlier than she did. Sorry for that. Nobody knew how long these potions were supposed to work on us to begin with. So you don't have to apologize for everything. Most, more importantly, do you remember anything? Sadly, we didn't. So much for that, then. How about you? We don't remember a thing, either. So much for Marco's whole plan. Marco said that Apris didn't even want to touch his potion, so in the end, all of this got us nowhere. That's unfortunate. We just found something on our way downstairs. Take a look at this. What is it? Wait! How did they get the note? What? <laughs> A soul stone? This note is the exact same note we found on the table earlier. I saw Shira put it into one of the books with my own eyes. There's no way it could have gone into the hall on its own. What the fuck? <laughs> Does that mean it's a duplicate? Are there two notes now? Shira must be confused about this as I am. Alright, so I just skipped over the part where we were just blaming each other, trying to figure out who FF was. But I find that so interesting. So, did did whoever, Fiat or whoever it is, put more notes, more more, more than one note? Or did, did he use magic to, like, move it? That's so interesting. Just so it's out there, we did find the first note in the library. I'd like to check it out again, just to make sure it's really a duplicate. But we can't do that as long as she and Yvonne are in the library. We'll have to wait for the right moment to do that. Either way, in regards to what Marco pointed out earlier, I know it might have sounded suspicious to you, but you don't suspect me of some kind of illusion spell on the second note and leaving it there for someone to find out later, do you? Don't worry, I believe you, Shira. You have to admit, it did sound suspicious. I'll, I'll say I believe her. I know she's paranoid and she she has the ability to do that, but I don't think she, she would, because that makes no sense for her plan to hide it in the first place. You know what I mean? Don't worry, I believe you, Shira. You're worried that your trust defies all logic right now, right? Because Marco did have a good point. I could have easily done it. As you already heard, I'm no stranger to illusion magic of such kind. I can admit that much, just between you and me. You wouldn't be telling me this if you didn't trust me at least a little bit yourself, would you? I won't deny nor confirm that. And you're right, the odds are against you. But did you really do it? I believe you didn't. Unless you're a way better actor than I could possibly imagine. Things you say and do seem genuine enough to me. You don't give people much credit, do you? Shira? 
You shouldn't let your guard down so easily is all I'm saying. Still, if you really decided to trust me, then thanks. Oh? Who would have thought? I didn't expect her to be so nice all of a sudden. Just don't get me wrong, I don't want you letting your guard down because we're getting along or something. Don't become biased. We still have a lot of mysteries to unfold. Of course. So, where do you want to head first? Should we check out the bedrooms? Chira? I think I just saw something. What? Where? Wait, there's a wall here. Oh, she found the, the illusion wall. Shira, did you just walk through it? I totally did. This bloody wall is an illusion. No, wait, can I also? Hey, we found the door. Welcome to the other side. I just got chills all of a sudden. No kidding. We should let the others see this. Okay, so this is after we discovered the berry that we had possibly have two months within it. So let's see what everyone has to say this time. Two months. Why do I have the weird feeling that we have way less time to spare than that? So, how would you like to take our turns? Should the girls go in first, then the boys? Just so it's clear, I'm not taking a bath with anyone but myself. No hard feelings. Sorry, Mariko, that applies to you as well. I kind of saw that coming, let's be real. <laughs> May I ask the reason? I'm just trying to stay on the safe side. Being in a water-filled room with just a single person is potentially dangerous. Finding games aside, you can't be sure about my intentions, and I can't be sure about yours. You're worried I might want to drown you? If you want a different answer, we barely met. I don't trust you enough to be running around naked in front of you. Wow, Shira. <laughs> She's very directive about this. Humor me here. That's what you want, I'll accept your privacy. And here I was, getting my hopes up. Okay, I'm not gonna fight her, because she'll probably punch me in the face, to be honest. I'll accept your privacy. I'm glad we understand each other. While we're at it, I'm sure as hell not staying in here alone with this guy. Yeah, yeah, you don't trust me, I know. The fact that I paired up with you clearly means I want to, I want to stab you in the back, when you at least expect it. So, um... I actually like Yvonne's to you. If Shira doesn't want to join us... I might have trouble changing my bandages and getting cleaned up on my own, so I'd appreciate some help with that. And while I do trust Yvonne, I wouldn't mind Mariko joining us, especially if Shira doesn't want to go in with her. I definitely don't mind any of that either. What about you, Miss Mariko? Would you like to join us? Take them up on the offer. It should be more safe with the three of you. And what makes you say that? Well, if either of us were to have some bad intentions, the third person could always intervene. Aren't you forgetting about one of your theories where Yvonne and Shira could be working together? Wouldn't that make things worse? Without due respect, I'm injured. Even if I want to drown anyone, trying anything without a sword would be idiotic in my condition. And I mean no harm to anyone. I'll be at the door. If I hear any suspicious noises, I will storm in and someone will end up getting their ass kicked. Are we clear? Are you sure it wouldn't be easier for you to just simply join us? Yes, I'm sure. Now shoot. Off into the water with you. <laughs> Are you done? Nobody drowned, as you can see. Well then, I'll head and take my bath myself now. Should I wait for you? No, you're fresh out of the water. You'll catch a coat if you stay out here like this. I imagine your dress isn't warm as mine. Just go back upstairs. I'll join you soon once I'm done. I don't like that because the last time in Shears or she, there's blood everywhere, so I don't even know if that was her or not. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? If I find any perverted redheads peeking out at me, I'll kick them where it hurts. If you say so, Shira. I guess I'll go back to the mansion. I could look for some clothes to sleep in while I have time to kill. Shira might be taking a while in the bathhouse, dealing with those layers she has on her. Uh-oh, who's that? Is she back already? It's open. Didn't she hear me? Oh god. Who is it? Nobody's here. What the hell is going on in this place? <laughs> That was weird. Where was I? Right, I'm about to look for some clothes. Are we are we playing like, you know, ding dong ditch and you just knock the door and run? Like, who is that? The fuck, dude? Again, nobody's here. I'm not going crazy, am I? Don't tell me this place is really haunted. Wait, what's this? Oh. It's a book by the door with some kind of note on top of it. I've heard you, you're you a fan of poetry. Try 13. Unlike the one we found in the library earlier, this one's orange. Okay, so this is the one of the clues. This is the orange clue. 100 ways to uh, how, how to appear creepy. It's a book. It's self-titled 101 ways to appear creepy. The hell is this? 
What? By 13? Does it mean the 13th page? I think so. There are additional works written between the already existing lines. Somebody wrote something. You know what FF stands for, don't you? Take the fourth and fifth letter from the first name and convert them into numbers. Further instructions await for you on that page. What? Wait, what? Hold on. Whoever wrote this, they also need to know what FF stands for. And they know that I know, but how? I didn't mention Fiodler to anyone after I woke up here, did I? Unless those initials stand for something else entirely and we're having misunderstanding here. Either way, converting letters into numbers, how am I supposed to do that? The easiest way to think of is to simply apply numbers to the letters of the alphabet in order. So A would be 1, B would be 2, and so on. The Fiathor is the first name. The fourth letter is T, and the fifth one is H, so that would make... Uh... 20 and 8? I think that's 20 and 8, respectively. So, page 28, 208? Let's check these combinations. Hmm, there's nothing that stands out on this page. Let me check the other combination. Okay! That was probably the night that they met, right? Right? Ooh! I'm not going to question the sanity of whoever it is that- Whoever it was that just wrote this book. But at least it seems they found the right page. Wait, can I read the page for a second? Connect the dots. Here are some examples of creepy small top. Topics. Heat, death of the universe, meaningless of our existence in the grand scheme of things, how final installments of every trilogy are always the worst worst part. Hey, that's not true! What are you talking about, dude? The, the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the last one was the best one, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that weird guy dressed in black right behind you. Something something, write your letters in a creepy font. Or better yet, write them in actual blood. Draw pictures in the same style as examples show below, and pull put them on the fridges, send them postcards, give them away. There are more additional lines written here, let's see. Can I trust you? There's a piece of information I wanted to share with you, but I need to be sure you will not share it with anyone else, no matter what happens. If you do not keep this piece of information to just yourself, you are going to die. What? What the? I cannot pass this on to you directly. The same fate would, am would await me at the moment I tried. You need to make a choice. Either ignore this note or leave your partner out of this completely. In case of choosing the former, once everyone is asleep and you are alone, search here, 935. Make sure that you are actually not followed. Oh my god, I'm getting creeped out. What the hell? More numbers to make sense of. I'm guessing I'm supposed to use the same kind of cipher? But before I even try to figure out what all this means, Shira could come back at any minute. I really need to decide what I want to do. Once she storms into the room and sees me reading these contents, there will be no way out of this. She's too nosy to leave such things to be ignored. I have no idea who the mystery sender of this is, but they seem to know how to. Re they seem to know that I remember something about Fiathor. Should I trust them just based on that? This might be as well some kind of trap. Show the book to Shira despite the warning. Keep yourself and try to acquire a piece of information on your own. Oh my god, I don't know what to do here. Like, I'm I'm totally aware I'm supposed to get the bad endings first for each of the route, but like... Even so, like, what do we do? Do we actually have to share this with her? Like, I'm more curious as to, like, what kind of information this person is leaving for us, but I don't want to leave Shira out of this. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the information. I know this is not gonna end well. I trust Shira, but what if my life really depends on this somehow? It seems that I can kill two birds with one stone in this case. If I am to pursue a piece of information, I shouldn't risk something as serious as this is. Even it might be just a trap. Let's take the risk. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh hey, we look nice. Are those the only clothes you managed to find in here? Wow, I'm going to freeze my ass up in those. Let's just ignore this. I'll look for something that more fitting in the other bedrooms tomorrow. I think I can survive one night in my dress. Are you sure that will be comfortable sleeping in that? Definitely more comfortable than the other pieces of rags available. A girl's gotta have some dignity. Suit yourself. Shira? Is she asleep? Alright, I think she's asleep. It's time to move. Oh god, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm so worried. 935, 935. Looking at the numbers, it should be three letters 
word, right? Again, using some kind of system where A would be 1 and B would be 2 and so on, 9 through 5 would make... Oh god, I think ice, right? It's ice. Ice? 9 is I, 3 is C, and 5 is E. There's no mistake. Assuming that I'm using the right kind of system to solve this, but it did work with Feathor, so... Oh no. If I got it right, then I'm supposed to head down into the cold storage? Yo, are we gonna get locked in there and then someone's gonna kill us? I won't lie, the idea of visiting that place on my own in the middle of the night unsettles me. Oh god, I'm so worried! Oh no! But I made up my mind, let's do this. We're gonna die in here, oh my goodness. Now the question is whether I'm literally supposed to look for something among the ice, or... Anything? Dang, my fingers are already freezing off! I hope I won't end up selling fish after this, that would be nasty giveaway. Oh! <laughs> You know, I kind of expected Shira to find out because she's good with illusion, right? She's not stupid. You didn't come down here for a midnight snack, did you? Shira, is that you? That was her voice. Where are you? I'm right behind you. I don't see you. Obviously you don't. I'm actually standing on the other end of the room. This place is so haunted. Why did I even come down here? I'll just go ahead and... Gods! Don't tell me, did you hide yourself with an illusion? Who would have thought that it could be a cast on more than just an inanimate object, right? I bet it's scary for you, though. Marco was right, you know. I can't, I can't hide from people with ease, or stalk them without them knowing, for that matter. Are you the one behind that book? Book? If it wasn't you, I just followed you wondering what you were up to. Why did you come here? I can't tell her that. Footsteps, someone's coming. Mariko? I have no idea who that is. Don't move, don't breathe. What are you? I said don't. Shit, you're shivering. Can't help it, it's too cold in here. You just had to come down here with nothing but your pajamas, didn't you? We don't have time for this, come on. Shira? She just wrapped her arms around me. Well, you know shit, you're freezing. <laughs> that dress of hers really does make the world difference. Shira's body feels so warm. Control yourself. We need to stay safe for this for the work. Oh, she's gonna hide us. Oh, Sheer! Sheer? What's she doing here? Is she the one who put the book? She, are you here? If you are, you can tell me. She? Is she referring to Shira? Sheer doesn't seem to see us. So Shira hit both of us with an illusion spell of hers? Don't tell me, I was the only one who received that riddle. Shira managed to find some kind of uh, envelope among the ice. I guess Mariko bailed on your idea. Serves you right for being an asshole. What the hell was that? Someone's getting carried away. Marco? Tell me something, Shira. Do you honestly believe getting rid of me will make it easier for you to get out of here? You're full of yourself, aren't you? I'm sure we managed to figure out Vaughn's help alone. She's more capable than you think. With you gone, we'd have more or less things to worry about, at least. You would have one thing less to worry about, you mean. The deal's off, I see. Wait, so was Marco the one who left the book? What the fuck is happening? Do as you like. I'm not gonna let you hurt my sister. I was right! <laughs> you really are an idiot, aren't you? I never intended to hurt her to begin with. You're even more of an idiot if you expected me to believe that. Those two... Shira? Wait, don't! What the hell is going on in here? I heard everything you just said, so don't even try to weasel yourself out of this. <laughs> what? Such a pretty voice. Is this where the party's at? What? 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 It, excuse me, what is happening? <laughs> Who's this? Oh my god, is this the demon that Margo was mentioned earlier in the other video? What? Those eyes. Who is that? What is that? Oh, for the love of... Who? What the? What the hell is this chick? And why does her skin look like that? Not to mention, she looks like a demon if you didn't notice, uh, Shira. Hey, you! Put some freaking pants on! 
<laughs> Don't provoke her! Bloody hell, is she drunk? Marco, you naughty, naughty boy. Locking up cute, innocent girls in the dark and scary places like that. There's nothing cute or innocent about you, woman. Hmm, and here I was, thinking we could have something beautiful. Marco, what? Not this again. Let me go, you little brat. She can't seem to pry his hands off her. How drunk is she? Marco, there's a book down in the basement. What? Let go, let go, let go. I need you to fetch it for me. Forget about the book. We should... Don't touch her. She's going to kill you. But you're... She won't hurt me. Go fetch the book. Shelf above the table. Second one for the left. Green cover. You can't miss it. Is he being serious? Sure. I could use some help here. Come on. I'll go with you. Ow. Easy there. What the fuck is happening? What? <laughs> uh, Marco? I couldn't run fast. My limbs are numb from the cold. Damn. We're almost there. Hey, so hang on. Shira, wait. Yeah? One of us should wake up Yvonne and Apris. They need to know what's going on. Whatever is going on. I guess that's a good idea. Are you sure you won't fall down the stairs with your legs barely working? I'll try not to. Okay, so... Whoa, Mariko? What? What has happened to your hand? Huh? What? Oh! What the... That doesn't look healthy. No kidding. This... We'll worry about this later. There's no time right now. Right, uh, so how do we split up? I'll fetch the book. All right, good luck with to us both. Oh gods, oh gods, oh gods. Someone's gonna freaking die. Second one for the left, huh? Green cover. This one? The hell is that? I suppose it's this one. Wait, this book. I'm pretty sure Fiathor had a book back in the cave. No, wait. It wasn't in the cave. Use this book to perform the rite of Aisha and I to agree to. Is this a copy or the exact same tome? Shit, what am I doing? There's no time for this. Shira? Apris doesn't seem to be upstairs. As for Yvonne, she's either sleeping like a log or someone drugged her. What is going on? There's so much things breaking. Holy crap. What? I'm so sorry, Shira. I tried to send to this. This is all my fault. Sheer? Holy crap, Sheer. Her chest, she's bleeding all over. Did that woman do this? Shira? Hey, snap out of it! Mariko! I got the book! Thank you! Now, I have a request. I'll need you to distract her while I s prepare a spell. For how long? A minute or two. That's not going to be easy, is it? Just whatever you do, don't let her come near you. Yeah, I'd hate to end up like Sheer. Speaking of which, is she... Aren't you forgetting about something? We need to move. Lure her out into the courtyard when the time comes. Shira? Is she in shock? Who the- What? Now? Oh gods. Shira? If we don't move, we'll end up joining her. What? Marco asked us to provoke the woman and lure her into the courtyard in a minute or two. You want me to provoke her? Hey, booby lady! <laughs> I like that. That's her method of fighting, calling her booby lady. <laughs> Are you having back pains because of those things? <laughs> can you even run with those? <laughs> Jealous brat. Oh, I can make mine bigger. Can you make yours smaller? She is so drunk she can barely stand. Who the hell are you anyways? Someone who's gonna rip you your insides out. That's not even funny. Okay, let's move it. Uh, Yvonne, you're awake. Come over here. Uh, Whatever you do, stay away from the booby lady. <laughs> okay, that's her new name, booby lady. Huh? What, what's going on? We'll explain later, just run! Are we even going the right way? Aren't we driving ourselves into a dead end? Can't make a loop out into the backyard. Um, wait, where the hell is she? What, she's not following us? Holy shit, don't tell me she took a wrong turn. Oh my god, where's Apparis? I just thought about this. Oh no. What kind of an idiot do you hold me for, you little prat? Oh shit, she's coming at him! Just because you know my name. Hey, booby lady! We're here, not there. Doesn't make you invincible. Oh my god, Marco! Whoa. That light. Ugh. 
shit, shit, shit! Mr. Marco? Oh, oh, fuck. I have no idea what the spell of his was supposed to do, but the crazy woman is gone. Aside from her hand, which is currently stuck in Marco's side. Oh my god. Dude, is that her arm in your- Wait, where did your hand go? He's going to bleed to death in a matter of moments. God, I'm going to faint. Huh? Yvonne? Please don't move. I won't be able to make your limb grow back, but I can at least stop the bleeding. Yvonne, you're- Yes, I came- It came to me in a dream, I remember now. Yvonne? Oh, you're conscious, Mr. Marco, that's good. Hang in there, everything's gonna be alright. Miss Mariko, could you pull that other limb out? Uh, right, we wouldn't want to get that stuck in there forever, would we? Yvonne? Are you alright? It's fine, I'm just a little exhausted, that's all. These wounds could have been fatal. It, could, it, takes, it takes a great amount of mana to knit everything back together. And she's out. I had a feeling this would have happened. They're both out now. At least Marco's bleeding stopped. Let's hope he's gonna make it. We should carry them upstairs, huh? Where the hell's Abra's when you need him? Oh shit, Mariko? Your arm! Yeah, my arm. It's starting to turn to ash and then crumbling apart, bit by bit. In the meantime, I have a feeling like I'm supposed to know what's happening to me, but I can't remember. All I know is that I have to do something with my claw. Will you be able to carry both of them with you on your own? I, I can't help you like this. What is happening to you even? I have no idea. Wait, does Sheer remember that Sheer is her sister? I, I don't know. As for Sheer... Okay, I managed to get them both upstairs. I'm going to fish some water to see if, I, if Apris isn't out in the backyard by any chance. This is one hell of a thing we've been through, huh? You can say that again. I'm sorry about Sheer. And then there's this book. Mariko? You're awake. Is Yvonne also? She's still out. But she's, she should be fine, so don't worry. <laughs> you know, we could have been twins right now. Twins? We're both currently missing our right hand at the, and all. Jokes aside, how are you feeling? A little torn up, I guess. Marco? <laughs> I mean it, though. The moment that bitch stabbed me, I thought that was it. Yvonne surprised the hell out of me. I'll have, her, I'll have to thank her when she wakes up. Not only did she save my life, she might have actually saved all of us, which she did back there. What do you mean? Do you think she'll be able to help me as well? Your condition's a little bit more tricky to fix. Do you know what's happening to me? You never found a cure for it. But you did find a way to postpone it from spreading. Sadly, you don't remember how to do that, and I'm unable to help you right now. How does he know that? Mariko, listen. I know this whole situation is hard on you, but there's one more thing I need you to do. I have no idea if it will work that way, and I'm, I am hoping it will, but it might save your life at some point. At some point? Do you remember that envelope you found in the cold storage? Uh, were you the one who placed it there? Every minute counts still right now, so hear me out. The page inside of the riddle is written in invisible ink. You should be able to see it once you place it above flame. Just be careful not to burn it. The riddle holds a name. Once you manage to figure out the na who that name is, try to burn it into your memory as much as you can. Repeat it to yourself a hundred times, but don't let anyone else hear it. You need to remember it for yourself. Do you understand? Uh, I'm just confused right now. You want me to go to great lengths to arrange this, didn't you? Why? Because I think you have a bigger potential of fixing our predicament. Keeping you safe should be a priority. I would really like to hear your reasoning behind that. Back in the book, you said that entrusting me with some kind of information would be fatal for you. Was that true? Yes. Is this connected to what happened earlier? No, I had no idea that it would come to that. So that riddle of yours, once you solve it, I'm supposed to die. That's the rule, and that's how it works, in theory at least. What? Why, though? However, I believe I found another way to trick myself out of this. You just need to concentrate on solving the riddle. Trust when I say that I'll be fine. You're not just saying that, are you? <laughs> just between you and me, it's too much of a coward to be gambling my life. I wouldn't do this if I didn't believe it, didn't, it wouldn't work. Also, I'm not much of a poet, and I didn't have time to come up with anything better, so forgive me for my horrible writing. I don't think that's a problem right now, but alright. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here. So we did find out a lot of things. I wasn't really expecting that. I was expecting to die and then move on to back to Shirzu, but we discovered that Marco was the one leaving all the clues around. It was him, but now there's definitely a demon, so I, I think... 
I think Sheer is under the con well, she's under the control of the demon because she needs to kill Marco, or else they're gonna kill uh, Shira, because she was trying to protect her sister. But the thing is, does the demon work for Feathor, or is this demon like on her own? You know what I mean? Like I don't get it if they're they're connected with Feathor or not. So I'm gonna continue with Shira's route until I get her bad endings out of the way. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you'd like to help support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get early access to videos, videos for Patreon only, the Discord server to come talk to me, and a bunch of other stuff as well. And please let me know in the comments what you guys thought so far. I'm sorry I have to keep jumping through the roofs, but like, this is so interesting that everything is connecting with each other. Once again, I don't believe Sheer is a bad person, but she just caught up in bad things. And she can't do anything but uh, attempt to kill Marco because she has to protect her sister. But we still don't know exactly why she made a deal with the demon. Like, I don't know who this booby lady is, but like, I don't know. We'll figure this out soon. Anyway, thank you to so Nobred Studios for sending me a Steam key for this game. I'm really enjoying it. It's so complicated, but I love it so much. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What is going on? Don't tell me Sheer ran all the way to the kitchen just to get a goddamn knife. She's gonna stab him. Sheer! Is she the bad guy this entire- Oh my god, it's coming out now. <laughs> God damn it! Oh my god. He takes down the front of his pants, exposing the fucking bed.